when people think of tapirs, they think of this large, powerful, strong animal. But when you listen to their vocalization, they sound like a little bird. They're very well known as living fossils, so they've been around for a long, long time. Now they're facing something completely different, an upcoming wave of extinction caused by humans, caused by us. Protecting any species is a marathon, not a sprint. 2020 Whitley Gold Award winner, Dr. Patricia Medici, has dedicated her life to the conservation of lowland tapirs and their remaining habitat in her native country of Brazil. The largest land mammal in South America, lowland tapirs can be found from Venezuela to Argentina. Despite their vast range, numbers have plummeted due to hunting, roadside fatalities, and habitat destruction driven by rampant development and large-scale agriculture. The scale of the challenge requires an equally colossal conservation plan and a humbling level of commitment. We started the Lowland Taper Conservation Initiative in 1996 in the Atlantic Forest. Winning a 2008 Whitley Award allowed Patricia to expand her work into the Pantanal the largest continuous wetland in the world. Then, with a WFN continuation funding grant, she expanded her work further into the Cerrado grasslands, the epicenter of Brazil's development. I'm always really proud to see that we have been able to build the largest and most comprehensive database of tapering information. Our data was very much responsible for the establishment of highway roadkill mitigation in Sao Paulo State and for the creation of a protected area around Morro do Diabo State Park. Now, bolstered by her Whitley Gold Award funding, Patricia will embark on the fourth and final stage of the project, expanding to the Amazon. This funding comes at a critical time the Amazon is the planet's largest tropical forest at 5.5 million square kilometers and the largest stretch of tapir habitat left in the world. Against the backdrop of political and environmental uncertainty, the Amazon is facing unprecedented deforestation rates. Using WFN funding, Patricia's project will combat threats affecting tapirs along the Amazon's deforested southern arc in the states of Mato Grosso and Pará. In the other three biomes, Patricia and her team will build on her existing tapir conservation work. In the Atlantic Forest, they will assess the progress of the tapir population 10 years on from their original study. In the Pantanal, the team will maintain monitoring of resident tapirs using telemetry and camera traps to inform action. The Cerrado program will continue spearheading protection for tapirs against road deaths, pesticide pollution, and poaching. Together with her team, they will develop tapir conservation strategies to be delivered in each of these ecosystems. I'm very optimistic. Conservation projects of this magnitude require marathon runners like Patricia Medici. 24 years of commitment and experience have positioned Patricia as an international ambassador for tapir protection, and she's trained a cadre of conservation leaders along the way while collaborating with other Whitley Award winners. I bring them to the field with me. That's where I am a good teacher and make sure they fall in love with all these different habitats, they fall in love with tapers, they fall in love with conservation. If we keep working and if we keep paying attention to these animals, I'm confident that they will be with us for the future.